Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my easy method for buying and selling any and all things in the game and how to stop scammers from stealing items during a trade. If you check the description I have put timestamps so you can jump to certain sections of the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please do so you don't miss out on any of my future videos or giveaways. I will be releasing more trading videos to help you guys make your own bells and nook mile tickets. Speaking of giveaways, I have a new giveaway on my Instagram page, so if you haven't already checked that out, then make sure you head over to Horsefield Plays on Instagram, which is linked in the description for more information. Also, check out my last video where you can find full details on how to enter my 100 Nook Mile Ticket competition, and you will find a link in the description along with all the tools I'll be using in this video. That's the intro done, so let's get cracking. <laughs> The first part of this video, probably the most important part and the thing I really want you guys to take away with you is how to stop someone from scamming you. So I'm just going to quickly show you my bag, show you what the items I've got in my bag for now and then we're going to head over to an island. I'm going to show you an example of exactly what could happen and how to get out of that situation. So for this example, I'm heading over to someone else's island. I'm dropping all of my items on the floor so we can complete a trade. Whilst I'm dropping the items, the buyer here is picking up the items, no issues here so far, all I'm doing is waiting around, wait for them to drop the payment and then we're good to go. We're waiting around for a few seconds, not quite sure what's going on but then we get this screen, it looks like it's time to go home. So what the host has done here is they've selected an option which then ends the session and everybody on the island is then sent back home. If this ever happens to you whilst you're trading on your island or someone else's island, all you have to do is head over to your Switch console, click the power button and your console will then enter sleep mode. When it enters sleep mode, it will then cut all form of internet connection that is going on on that Switch console at that time. All you have to do then is power your Switch back on, click A, go back into the game and you will then see this error message appear. The error message should say the internet connection was lost because the console entered sleep mode. That's exactly what we want and all we do is click OK. And we will be returned back to our island, we'll get a few nook miles for taking the trip and we will check our inventory to find that all of our items are still there. Because what's happened is before we left our island we saved the game and that's something that automatically happens. So when you go to the other island and then you turn off the internet by powering it off and going into sleep mode, you will then go back to the last save, which was before you even headed to the island when you still had all of your items in your bag. And it's as simple as that. So if you're ever in a situation like this, press the power button, enter sleep mode, and you will save all of the items that the scammer is trying to take from you. Now let's have a look at the buying and selling. So the first thing we actually need to look at is, well, what is it you're looking for? Are you looking for some items? Do you need some fossils? Do you need some materials? Do you need some new flowers? Uh, do you need a specific song that you've been looking for? Or are you actually looking for a new villager to come and join you in your island? Or is it something that you actually want to offer a service? So do you want to host an event? So do you want to do some item events? So you put lots of things all nice and wrapped up and then you charge people to visit your town and they pick up an item and then you get some tickets from it. So the first way and probably the easiest way to find a buyer or a seller is to go onto your Discord page, click in the search bar, type in exactly what you're looking for. So we want Raymond. We scroll down to find someone who's buying or selling. So we're currently buying. This person has Raymond in boxes and they are looking for some Nook Mal tickets. There we've got ourselves a seller straight away. All we do is we would click on this button here which says jump. It would then take me exactly to where they've posted that. And then all I would need to do is click on their display name. Sorry, there we go. Right click on it. Once I've right clicked, I would get these options. I'd click message, left click message, and we've got a nice little message here. Send them a message, ask how much they're looking for, and start your negotiation. And then from there, you can see if it's a good price, if it's a bad price, and then you move on if you don't find a good price. If you're not having any luck in your first Discord page, then all you do is repeat the exact same thing in a different Discord page. 
Another really simple trick is rather than using Discord, you can actually head over to knuckerson.com. Use a search bar at the top to find what it is you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for a villager. We're going to look for Raymond. We've got three options there. We actually want Raymond a villager, so we would select this one, not the photo or the poster. And then you've got these three little tabs at the, at the top here. So selling is people selling Raymond. You've got auctions where people are auctioning Raymond off for you to purchase or put a bid in. And the last one is looking for. So these people are also in the same position as yourself. They're looking for the item or villager as well. Now, I would tend to just stick to the selling section. I would find someone who's selling them, look for a good price. Anyone that's got making an offer, I would fire an offer in there anyway and see if you can get them for a good price. And then if they do, what will happen is they will accept or they will decline your offer. And then that will appear in your notice notifications on here so it's always good to keep it open so you can see if any of your offers have been accepted but i would quickly look through here see if you've got anyone see if anyone's selling them like this one here honestly it's not too bad of a price could probably get it for this and it is it's as simple as that you head through here sometimes the price on here can be quite high but you can also get a really good deal so if you're looking for any item You've got all these different sections at the top that you can use, or if you know the actual name of the item or villager, you type in at the top, you click search, and there it is. Now let's talk about advertising. It will come to a point where you are struggling to find an item, a villager, or people for your event through Nookerson or through a Discord page. So what you need to do is create a nice advertisement so people have got a nice visual idea of what it is you are trying to buy, sell, or advertise. First, I'm going to show you Snapchat. Now, Snapchat is a really, really easy tool and accessible to most people who have got access to a mobile phone. First, load up the app and you click the little button in the middle bottom of the screen. This will load up your photos. Go to your camera roll and you select the photos that you've previously downloaded on your phone. And if you just hold down on the image, you'll be given some options. Click edit photo, then go over to the scissors option or the scissor option and just cut around the image and fill it all in so it's all nice and full and as soon as you let go of that you will then be able to move around that one item now click done at the top and discard the changes it doesn't really matter and then go on to a different image so we'll choose this other image of Raymond and we're going to use this as the background now the image we have just cut out we just select this on the side, go to the scissor option, and there's Raymond's head that we can now use to position. There we go, we've thrown his face in there and I'll add some text in there so people know exactly what we are wanting and what we're looking for. Once you've got all your text in, you need to make sure that it all stands out. And then if you click the bottom left option, you can then save that photo to your phone, head straight over to the Discord page, and head to the server that you actually want to post your advertisement. If you're going to buy or sell something, you need to make sure you're in the correct option within that server. So we're heading to the villager trade within this server, and that's where we can post it, straight there. And then other people will be able to view it. Now, one other tip I've got here is to add some text just with the word Raymond. That way, if someone is searching for a buyer or a seller, then yours will come up. Whereas if you've got just an image, they're not actually going to see your post because all you have posted is an image. So any text that's in there will then come up on anyone else's search. Another option I'm going to give you guys is for those of you who have got access to the internet and to the application called Paint, which is usually built into most Windows PCs, laptops, desktop computers, those sort of things. First thing I'm going to do is head over to nookplaza.net. All of these links will be in the description, but we'll head to nookplaza.net. And the reason I'm doing it on this one is just to show you that you can use either website. So you can use this one or you can use Nookazen. For this one, what you need to do is set the filters to start with. So you click all. And then here, we'll do the same thing again. We'll go for Raymond. And we've got similar sort of photos that we had before. So what we're going to do is just copy the image. Um, I tend to create the background as black in here just because when you do copy and paste the images, they do tend to come in with a, a black background. Okay, so we'll grab this other Raymond image, paste him in, and there we've got the other image. 
but if you look there's a black background on there and what we want to do is try and get rid of that now what we can do is we can select here and click transparent selection and what that'll do is that will then select just the image rather than the outside but it will go for the select colors now if you notice his eyes are also black so we don't really want a black background for this part because if we do then we're also going to be making his eyes invisible too so first we will change the background to a color that's not on here at all so we'll go for something funky let's click on here and we'll go for a really really bright pink which we know is not in this image we will click the fill and we'll just fill it in so i just right click there to get the second color then if we select the transparent selection option now and select our image it will then select the entire image and it won't get rid of all the other things on there so what we shall do is right click and click copy we can then either right click and click paste and we've got an image of him there or we can do Control and V on your keyboard or command and V if you've got a Mac and there we've got lots of little Raymond heads remember we've still got our originals over here so we can actually put these here and all I'll do is do this Control C paste it in so now we'll just throw some text in there so what you do is you've got to make sure that color number two is the background color because if you don't do that it's not going to work so make sure your background color is color number two the foreground color can literally be anything it doesn't matter highlight your text and then what you can do is then you can move it around and place it wherever you want so now we've got our image we it's actually really really simple here all we're doing is get our selection tool this time we don't want a transparent selection we are going to select this entire little square of things click our copy you head to the discord page make sure you're in the correct section so for this one we're going to go for the villagers trade and search and then all we do is we right click or we do a control and v which is showing us our shortcut there once it's pasted in there people will be able to have a look and see exactly what you're looking for and then you just sit tight for a while and see if someone messages you those are just a few of my own tips that i use to get ahead of the game and attract more buyers and sellers in animal crossing discord pages if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and comment down below with anything new or useful that you learned today if you haven't already checked out my instagram giveaway then make sure you head to at horsefield players for more information there is also still time to enter this week's 100 nook mile ticket giveaway so head to my previous video the link is in the description for more information on how to enter I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.